Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing okay today. So today I have a collection of different tea that I want to discuss with you guys in this video. For example, Dress to Impress being in the Rolex Innovation Awards and more information on that, some messages from the developers suggesting things that may come to Dress to Impress and just so much more and it is really exciting. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first one I mention in this video because honestly it's happening very, very soon is that Dress to Impress is going to be part of the Rolex Innovation Awards 2024, which is like an annual event where Rolex celebrates the achievements of like different games, developers, creators, etc. just to make them feel seen I guess and I'm pretty sure that if they win they will get both physical trophies and also a virtual one that you'll be able to see in the game. At least that's what I have experienced with other games that have won but I'm not too sure if it has changed because the last time I watched the Rolex Innovation Awards was like years ago but that is only if they get the most votes in the categories that they were nominated for which I will discuss later in this video. Okay so the first thing I want to dive deeper into because this is happening very very soon like literally today in a few hours or maybe as you're watching this it's probably happening right now hence the reason i'm sort of rushing this video but there's also something happening tomorrow so today we're going to be having omoye i think that's how you pronounce their name i'm so sorry for mispronouncing it however they are dressed to impress manager and they are a keynote speaker and they'll be representing today and it will be hosted in their discord server which i'll have linked down below how are you guys i also found this scheduled live stream on the official roblox youtube channel so if any of you guys don't have discord or you're not allowed to have discord please don't create an account if you're not allowed to just watch this live stream over here everything will be linked down below for you guys so you don't have to like search around or anything like that so yeah, if you want to hear the dress to impress manager speak then just go ahead and watch that live stream however guys on the topic of what is going to be said and what that speech is going to contain honestly i'm not too sure i wish i did know however i couldn't find any information on what they were going to talk about and i also haven't seen other keynote speakers mention what they're going to be talking about so i guess it's a surprise which honestly makes this more exciting so with us you guys it is very likely that as you're watching this it is currently happening so be sure to go down into the description box down below and see the live stream and additionally guys dress to impress was nominated for two categories this year for the roblox innovation awards so they were chosen for people's choice and also best new experience so this was actually announced on the official dress to impress discord server and they are going to be hosting it on the discord server as well however guys if you don't have discord don't worry once again the live stream will be linked down below for you guys however guys you were originally able to vote for different games in this roblox game right here this is called roblox innovation awards 2024 voting hub and basically you already know what this does you can just vote for different games depending on what category they were nominated for however guys it is slightly concluded so you can no longer vote so if you missed the opportunity don't worry you'll be able to vote next year if dress to impress gets nominated again which honestly i am predicting that it will however guys once again the innovation awards and also the keynote speakers are going to be live streamed all over on the official roblox youtube account so what you have to do is either go into my description box and click on those links or you can just google the roblox youtube channel and then go onto their like live section and it'll be there now they will show you in how many hours it's happening so you can go onto like google and type in what time will it be in like 36 hours and it will tell you the time you can go onto your phone or your tablet and it set a timer just in case you don't get a notification for when the live stream happens anyway guys this is all that i have for you guys about the rdc and the awards honestly i am so proud that dress to impress was nominated this year and i can't wait to see what awards they will win okay guys so now that that is out of the way i want to talk to you guys about some messages that found in the official dress to impress discord server but before i do just a quick heads up for you guys that everything that i'm sharing in this video may change at any time any point become invalid or just no longer relevant additionally i'm obviously not part of the development team for dress to impress so i don't know what's happening behind the scenes so i couldn't verify the accuracy of these predictions and my theories so i can confirm the sneak peeks i'm showing you guys today will 100 percent come to dress to impress okay so please keep that in mind whilst you're watching the rest of this video Alrighty, so the first message i want to highlight to you guys is basically someone asking if we're going to get capes inside of dress to impress and owen a dress to impress developer replied with someone else can i can't do the physics for that and personally i like how owen didn't say no to 
to this idea so this makes me wonder if we're going to be getting capes in the future maybe for halloween because then it will be perfect timing to add them to the game however you guys once again it is not confirmed that we're going to be getting capes inside of dress during press so in my last video i mentioned how zach has been working on some animations for us and how he very badly wanted to leak them for us however he did not have permission from gg to do so he did say he's going to beg gg to leak them however i'm not too sure if he's going to be able to leak them anytime soon anyway i will make a video if he does but you guys i have missed some information from that video so i'm going to bring it into this video however you guys zach did end up saying this guys start saving up for new post packs because these are going to be the ones you want now what i am interpreting is that we're going to be gaining multiple post packs considering packs is plural so i'm definitely going to be going inside of dress room very soon to farm to afford these post packs but i'm definitely very inquisitive on what those post packs are going to be because i was not able to find any more information about those post packs and how they will look like right so as you guys already know the post so julia was misused so much in the dress to impress community and like i've seen a lot of inappropriate tiktoks about it and it tweets and just a lot of people misusing the post and originally the developers did highlight this and recognized it and decided to implement a replacement post for it which was was honestly very basic but i liked it in a way i really did how you guys it was confirmed that the replacement pose is no longer going to be added to the game and so the so julia pose is going to remain in the game so here's a message from zach basically for some context someone did ask for the update is the so julia pose going to get reworked and zach replied with no so julia pose won't be removed or reworked because luckily the hat for it has gone down and people are actually using it in the way it was intended lol so we're keeping it so there you go you guys the so julia pose is going to remain in game so any of you guys that really love the pose i hope you guys are happy because it's staying in game and it will not be removed and i'm definitely really happy that people have stopped using it in an inappropriate manner because it was getting so tiring and annoying but yeah i'm also happy that it is staying in game Okay guys, so the final thing I want to mention in this video, and by the way, I'm so sorry for rushing this video once again. The RDC is happening very, very soon, and I want to release this video as soon as possible so that you guys are aware of this. How are you guys? A few days ago, someone did ask Zach if he's going to be getting a code anytime soon, and if he did, what would it be? And Zach replied with this. I could ask for one if I wanted, but I don't really have a purpose for one right now, but if I had a code, it would be low-rise jeans. And then he followed up saying, like, Y2K, year 2000, low-rise jeans now he did also follow up saying how it's kind of impossible to get a code right now just because so much is happening behind the scenes which is honestly totally understandable i do understand that but personally guys i'd like to think that this doesn't mean we're not going to be getting low-rise jeans if anything we're going to be getting them in the future which is honestly so exciting because we do have a lot of jeans inside of the game already but we don't have any low-rise jeans which again would be perfect for the game if we have a theme like for example y2k then it's then it's perfect anyway guys this is all that i have for you guys today but once again you guys i want to say that everything that i'm sharing in this video may change at any time become invalid or just no longer relevant i am not part of the development team for dressed in press so i don't know what's happening behind the scenes so i can verify the accuracy of my predictions and theories and i can confirm the sneak peeks i showed you guys today will be added to dressed in press anyway guys let me know down below if you're going to be watching the RDC because personally I am. I have set my timers and I'm so excited. But once again, you guys, I hope all of you guys are doing okay and I will see you in my next video.